Hey Taurus, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys. I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the month of August. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading. So some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. If you feel like it doesn't apply, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Also, you guys know that uh, the reading can go vice versa, aka be reversed. So just take it however it fits, okay? All right, Taurus. So, Lord, we just gonna jump in. <laughs> we just gonna jump in. Let's just see how this is about to play out. Cause I done told y'all last month, okay? This is gonna be good, right? Y'all be having me worry. I don't want to have to come pop up on y'all, okay? Didn't I pop y'all last time? All right, anyway. Um, y'all know that I love you, though. It's all out of love, but I will pop you. Um, so thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it, but let's hop in. This is going to be good, isn't it, Taurus? <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on. All right. Spirit, what's going on with Taurus, please? Month of August, Taurus. Okay, I have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Keep an open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type and expectations. Bottom of the deck, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. Hmm. I feel like there's somebody here that wants to tell you how they really feel about you. And if you haven't cut ties with them just yet, you're getting ready to. For, for others of you, I do feel like you, you're already separated from this person. You know, and I feel like this person definitely wants you to... Basically, they want you to give them another chance. And they're hoping that you're going to keep that open mind. But right now, they are definitely trying to heal some type of family situation. Whether it's like they have a family, um, like you two have a family together. It could be a situation for some of you where this could be like their immediate family, like mom, dad, sister, brother. It could even be a situation to where maybe this person needs to heal some type of like childhood trauma, you know. So, this is kind of going a couple of different ways. So, let's just see how this plays out in the spread. Okay, Spirit, Taurus. What's going on with Taurus, please? The month of August, Taurus. Okay, bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups reversed. So, this is telling me that somebody's confident. Somebody's really confident right now. But even though they're confident, they're still having a hard time. Clarify that. Mm -hmm. They're having a hard time approaching you or maybe saying something to you. This, whoever I'm picking up on, this person keeps a very close eye on you. Like, they watch you. Mm-hmm. See, they're dragging their feet. Yeah, so I feel like for some of you, I am picking up. You're not really talking to this person. I feel like they want to say something to you, but right now they're not. They're taking their time coming back, but they do keep an eye on you, whether it's like social media, by friends or family. Yeah, see, they're afraid they're not going to have some type of new opportunity with you. Somebody could have been dealing with an Aries, but they realize that, okay, I didn't bring stability into this situation. Mm-hmm. They're not listening to their intuition because I feel like this person definitely wants to give you a stable offer here, but they're undecided how to go about doing it. Okay. All right. Yeah. You got, you either, you already have a family with this person for some of you, or this person wants to have a family with you. But the thing is, they're afraid they're not going to have this new beginning. And that's why they're having that hard time. See, somebody could have been dealing with a Libra. But I feel like for some of you, this person wants to speak their truth. For others of you, this person is like, okay, I can't have a new beginning with Taurus or Crosswatcher. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this is what they're saying about you. Because I feel like some of them may have to get out of some type of contract, an agreement, something legal here. Tell me more. Yeah, could be dealing with a Gemini. So because of the way it came out, it's like a back and forth energy. I feel like this person definitely uh, wants to be with you. They want to be committed to you, but because they didn't balance things out in the past, they're like, okay, this may not happen. Mm -hmm. See how somebody is getting out of some type of legal situation. Somebody's definitely getting, because I, I saw 
someone was afraid of taking a financial hit or they did take a financial hit. And so right now I feel like somebody's trying to get their money together. Like, you know, whether they're working really hard, they're saving, paying stuff off. Tell me more. Yeah, see, I knew it. I, I should have told y'all that because I'm like, just seeing that, that's why I was like, somebody took a hit. I'm picking up marriage like something legal, you know? So for some of you guys, either you're married to this person or this person is married or in some type of commitment with someone else. They're trying to get out of something legal, whatever it is. It could be a contract. Whatever it is, somebody took some type of financial hit. And this person is trying to get it together. You know, Taurus, you could be dealing with another Taurus. But they're afraid that you don't want to be with them anymore. See, I told you they didn't do right by you. They didn't balance things out. And see, right now, not only do they want things to improve with you, but they want things to improve financially. And so, look, in order for that to happen, for some of you, they're going to have to end some type of family situation that they put themselves into you know i feel like this person's going through some type of transformation could be dealing with a scorpio some of you could be dealing with the virgo but this person is doing a lot of thinking right now because they know that they messed up see the seeds that they planted with you they're feeling like it's not going to grow and they want to heal things with you because i told you they want to be in this relationship with you Ooh, but they got to end something yeah somebody's getting out of a situation with someone else See, I have, the fact that I even have two tens here, that lets me know there's going to be an end. They're putting an end to some type of situation because they want to be with you. But I keep telling y'all, y'all see that little person? I shouldn't say little person. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all see that person in the background? Okay, they're holding on. This person knows that this other individual doesn't want to be with them anymore. They're trying to break free from some type of like tie, contract, bond, whatever it, is, whatever it is. And they're holding on to them. Like, I feel like your person is tired of arguing with this other individual. But when it comes to you, they feel like you don't want to build with them anymore. Okay. Yep, because you cut them off. You definitely, some of them feel like you already cut them off. You're done. And see, this is why they're getting advice. They're talking to somebody trying to figure out, okay, how can I make this right? Yeah, I told you, they want to talk to you. This person is going to be very direct, very honest, very blunt. You know, there's communication coming in. But even the way that came out, it's like a little hesitation. You're going to get an offer from them, but they're still hesitating giving it to you. See, because they feel like you're going to cut them off. I told you. I told you. This person's afraid you're going to cut them off because, yeah, they left you out in the cold in the past and they want to make it right. But see, they're worried. They're worried because they didn't take action before. And you see how I have two queens on this row? It could be two kings, but I'm telling you, there was some type of third party situation. You know, mother figure, mother of their child is something like that. But they know that they hurt you. And this is why they're afraid that they're not going to have a victory with you. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. But I feel like this person, they don't have the strength to come and tell you the truth. But they will, you know, because ultimately they want to heal things with you. They want things to improve. See, you're going to get an offer from them, even though they know that they've hurt you. They're coming out of being frustrated. But see, yeah, they're going through a tower moment. I told you some somebody's going through something financially speaking on their end. They're going through some type of money situation. Right now, things aren't balanced with their money. See, look at that. I Okay, so for some of you guys, they're going to have to pay up. I feel like they're going to have to give to someone, um, whether it's like court order or just whatever. Like they have some type of a, an arrangement or they've been giving to someone. Look at that. In order to get out of some type of commitment, some type of contract, to get out of some type of situation, they're going to have to pay up. You know, and I feel like this is their tower moment. This is why they're afraid things aren't improving with them financially speaking. So, yes, they want to give you this offer and it's the offer that you deserve because they do want things to improve. But they got to take care of their business first see and because they feel like they're not gonna be able to turn things around with you they're just frustrated they feel like they lost you for good at this point why well, is the sun here they want happiness with you but i'm seeing judgment so it's like they got to make a decision mm -hmm. and i see that they want to move forward with you somebody could be dealing with the cancer but they're having them to, to break free from a third party situation. So guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Some of them could have a child with someone else. And this could be the issue. And remember I told you there could be, there's some type of legal situation going on. So it might even be child support, you know, and they're needing to take care of that. And this is like why they're saying, you know, maybe in the past I couldn't leave because I had a family with this person or we had some type of situation. But now it's like, okay, I'm not happy in this situation. I'm ready to move forward. I got to remove myself from this third party situation. I have to get out of this third party situation. See, 
I'm not going to stay along with this person just because either, you know, we have children or, or a child or for some of you, I told you it could be family. Like I'm the child in the situation and I have to take care of my family, whatever it is. They're like, no, but the thing is they got to make a decision. See, they feel like you don't want a new beginning with them because yeah, the way this came out, they were definitely being sneaky in the past, you know, and they know that they got to make a change if they want to have something real with you. See? It's like, they feel like you guys are just moving on. You know, you're not paying them any attention. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. Clarify? Yeah. Even though it's like they're afraid of what you may say, I see them having the confidence here. Tell me more. So, yeah, they're coming back. I see them wanting to celebrate with you, ask you out. They want to take you out, you know. But right now, this the way that came out, this person is frustrated with themselves. They're really kicking themselves because they know that they messed up, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh Lord, the way this just came out, this is basically letting me know, like, somebody knows that they have to break out of some type of situation. That's them, like, being single, you know, walking away from a situation that no longer serves them, just, you know, all of that. But the thing is, they're still hesitating because I feel like somebody hasn't truly walked away yet. See, I told you it's family. It's some type of family, home, living situation. It's something like that. They, they're, they're, it's like they know that they need to walk away, but they haven't done it yet. They haven't. Mm -hmm. This person is quiet. Like, they, they just don't say anything. It's like they've just been staying in the situation. See, right now, they don't even know what to do. See, Ace of Pentacles, because maybe this person's like the official person of a household. They're responsible for taking care of someone and or other people. But the thing is, they want to give you the offer, see? They want to give you this big offer, but they know you don't trust them. So they got to give you that small offer first. But at the end of the day, I'm seeing that they're focusing on their money. Yep. And that's why they're moving slow right now, Taurus. Yep. See, I told you they're they're ultimately wanting to free themselves from this situation up here. And so because I told you they were frustrated with their finances, they're trying to get out of that energy. And so they're putting a lot of focus into their money right now. Tell me more. Yeah, see, I told you, some either someone from the past or some type of family situation. Yep, that's why they're moving slow. I told you, this is going to take some time, Taurus. This is going to take some time. You know, Taurus, whether this is somebody that you were dealing with or cross-watcher, you were dealing with a Taurus, this is what's going on. And I'm seeing that communication is going to come in. Yep, I told you, there's a lot of focus on money here. Somebody just kind of just doing them right now. But I do feel like they want to put in the work with you because they know that they did stab you in the back in the past. See, I told you, they want to balance things out, but they have to free themselves from a situation first. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yeah, there's some type of document or contract here, you know. And see, I didn't I tell you, this is why they can't move forward. They can't move forward just yet. They're going through a lesson. The thing is, it's like they're trying to stay positive, you know, but they feel like you don't want to be with them. But I'm telling you, there's going to be an ending. Yeah, there's some type of mother figure, mother. I, t I think I told you that in the beginning I picked up on. There's somebody here, and this is the problem. They got to get away from this person. See, they're going to make the decision to do so because, again, they want balance in their life. They want to have balance with you, but they got to balance the situation out with this other person first. So there is somebody else here they're needing to break free from. Okay, Taurus, so let's see. Let's get some advice. Okay, Spirit, so the situation that I just picked up on for Taurus. What advice do you have for them, please? Top 20 cards. What advice do you have for Taurus, please? bottom of the deck i have the ace of swords see what i'm saying there's communication coming in this could be spirit saying that when you do receive some type of communication from this person they want you to speak up you know speak your truth as well all right so it's a lot of back and forth here i do feel like okay so you guys have been doing the work i see you've been healing a lot taurus and it's like you guys are coming out of feeling betrayed by this person, you know, because at one point you did want to balance things out, but you're starting to feel like, you know what, there will never be balance because I'm the one doing everything. This person doesn't do half of what I was doing. This is just going to balance on my arm. See, look, 
So you had to move on. I told yeah, you had to let it go. It's time to go. But see, you guys are sad. You didn't want that to happen. Maybe for some of you, a few of you, it's like maybe you took some type of financial loss walking away from this person or you're afraid that that's what's going to happen. You know, but regardless, you're like, I don't see myself having a victory with this individual anymore. So they had to go. I had to, I had to cut them off. And you did it fast. If you haven't done it yet, you're getting ready to. Mm-hmm. Even though you guys are frustrated, look at that, Taurus. You guys are clearing away obstacles because it's like the seeds you planted with this person, you're starting to feel like it's not going to grow. Yeah, you guys are no longer taking the leap. I told you, you were the one doing everything. You're like, no, mm -mm, I'm not doing it. See, you're the one like, you know what? Little to no communication. I'm not doing it anymore. If they want to say something to me, they're going to have to reach out. I'm not going to be the one to start it off. See, Taurus, you are worrying about yourself right now, okay? I feel like you guys are committed to yourself. But like I said, some of you could be still in a commitment or marriage with this person. And that could be why you're moving slow. But I feel like you're doing things behind the scenes to get out of your situation. That's for some of y'all. See, look at that. Some of you guys, you want stability in your life. You want stability, see? So there's a new opportunity coming in for you, okay? But you're not happy. Maybe this person's trying to come back wanting to make things right. And you're like, mm -mm -mm. yeah, mm -mm. you guys are tired of arguing with this person. But I'm really seeing that you're in your head a lot about it. See, you guys are just really just putting the work back into yourself. Yep, look at that. You're making plans. Some of you guys may have to move. You know, for others of you, I just see you moving away from this person. You're moving on. Yep. And, oh, Taurus. Y'all, I'm so proud of y'all because I thought I was going to have to pop y'all again. <laughs> y'all are putting endings to this. You're like, nope, because you're like, I'm putting an end to it because this person's very immature and childish. I don't have time for this nonsense. You feel like this person's very sneaky, very manipulative. You know, it's like when they don't get their way, they whine, they make you feel bad. You know, it's like they try to, they gaslight you. And you're like, no, I'm not doing this with you anymore. I'm going to put an end to it. So Taurus, I'm proud of y'all. Y'all came together, okay? I love this. This is good. So we're going to see how this turns out in September, okay? <laughs> All right, Taurus, leave me some comments. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. So I'll catch you in September. Love you guys. Bye, Taurus.